We saw some amazing views in Yangshuo, but nothing could have prepared us for this. My name is Ryan and I'm currently backpacking full time with my girlfriend Emma. In this series we are exploring China, one of the most beautiful, diverse and misunderstood countries in the world. On day 8 we left beautiful Yangshuo and headed an hour north to Jingping, a former fishing village that is so beautiful that it even features on the 20 yuan banknote. Jingping is a popular day trip from Yangshuo, but I wanted to know if it was actually a better, more beautiful place to visit. I want this video to be as useful as possible, so if there's an aspect of Jingping that you need to know about, head down to the description and skip to the part of the video that interests you the most. So let's start by comparing the towns. During the day, the streets of Jingping's ancient town are packed with tourists, but by the late afternoon, it's much quieter with mainly locals. A pretty stark contrast to nights in Yangshuo. You notice straight away that Jingping is a lot quieter than Yangshuo. I mean, one of them is a big, busy, built-for-purpose tourist town, while the other is a quiet fishing village that just happens to get lots of visitors during the day. So, as a result, Jingping feels that slightly more authentic. Unfortunately, much of our time in Jingping was plagued by bad weather. But there was one thing we were determined to do. Jingping claims to have the best views in the area, some say even the best in the whole of China, from the mighty Laozai Mountain. It's a 300 meter climb to the summit with over a thousand stone steps leading up there, which sounds easy enough, but after it's been raining, we may have underestimated how dangerous it would be. We're just starting the walk up Lao Zai Hill now and it's just started to rain so hopefully it doesn't ruin the view too much or make the climb a bit difficult but we'll see. Fingers crossed. All the steps are very jagged and uneven and on top of that you've got this layer of wet mud which makes it very hard to keep your grip. It's quite slippery so and take it slow. We essentially had to crawl at points and then you've got to deal with the two-way traffic as well so it was a slow climb. Now it kind of turns into a ladder so the camera's going off now. The ladder you just saw brings you out at a pagoda which has some quite nice views of the town. But do not be fooled, because this is not the viewpoint we were looking for. At the top of the ladder, to the right, you'll see the pagoda, but to the left, there's a path of sorts which leads up towards a pile of rocks. And that's where the real viewpoint is. But I've got to stress that this is not an official viewpoint. It is definitely dangerous, especially after it's been raining. So please make sure you wear the right footwear, take all the precautions you can, and just please take your time. Laozai is by far the best thing to do in Jingping, but there are still some other things to see. You can walk from the ancient town over to the 20 Yuan spot, and from there you can walk, cycle, or catch a ride around the beautiful countryside. When Bill Clinton visited in 1999, he asked to see the real China, and this is where they took him. As we explored the area, I could see why. So, is Jingping better than Yangshuo? Overall, I don't think so. It has the best views by far, but it really lends itself to a day trip because there's just not that much to see. Whereas in Yangshuo, you can cycle around all day and still have places left to explore. But it is definitely worth making the effort to come here for the day 
And who knows, you might just see the real China. Next time on the One Shot Adventures China series, we head to the city of Kunming, an unexpected surprise. Thank you so much for watching this film. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And the next episode of the China series will be up next week. 